hello friends welcome back to code tonight in today's video we will see how to implement obin authentication in your asp.net mvc api so we have here is a project that is a having a api controller for mvc project and then we will see how we have implemented obin api obin authentication into this okay so first i will just show you a demo how it will look like okay so uh, here you can see I have created a post API already here and I have given this a path. I will let you know how we'll, we will set this path and you have to pass the parameters, username, password and this is one of the most important thing you have to remember that you have to pass grant type password when you want to use open authentication. Okay, so when you will try to just post the data, I will add a breakpoint over here. Okay, so we have breakpoint. So now we will try to post the data here. So you can see here you will get the username that you have sent and the password that you have sent from API. Now you can check your code here for verifying the credentials. Okay. So if those are wrong, it will return back the error message that username and password is incorrect. But uh, you can actually, I have used static passwords here and static username, but you can make database calls here. So I have added add a code to check from database here okay so again if you have some kind of roles in your application then you can add the role claims also you can see that i have added a role claim over here saying that it is the admin role okay now these are all will work only if the credentials are correct if they are not correct then it will fail one of these conditions and then it will return back the api okay so after that you have to use this to uh, add additional parameters that you want to send so if, for example if i want to send username back i can add here you can put a dynamic code over here okay you can add additional things like if you want any id or any other thing you can add here okay now we have just uh, create authentication ticket and uh, add it to the contact okay now if you just run the application you will see the username and id which we have sent from there is coming here and then we also have the access token over here okay so uh, we have the expiration time here okay so uh, this is uh, how you can uh, generate a token using open authentication and this is how you can implement and use open authentication in asp.nmvc api now talking about the code part i will provide you the code but i will first let you know uh, what we have to do so first of all you have to uh, go to the nugget packages and you have to install few packages so you can remember the name maxof.ovin is needed for that maxof.ovin.course maxof.ovin.host.system web this is a really important package for you to hit the api if this is not installed then your endpoint will not work okay then we have microsoft.ovin.security package and microsoft.ovin.security.oauth package okay so once you've done installing all these packages you have to go to your project and you have to add one new class file over here and we will name it startup.cs okay now in the startup.cs first you have to include this over here assembly open startup and this is the project namespace and this is the startup class that we have created below okay so now here you have to write use course to make it accessible without course exception okay then this is the main important part you have to set allow in secure http to true only then it will work for http and then we have to set the token endpoint path so this is the same path that you have seen while i have used in the api for posting the data okay this is the same path so you can change this path uh, uh, like uh, if you want to change for the login API. Okay. So then we have uh, like uh, expiration time over here and then we have the provider. So in the provider you have to pass a class and this is the same class that we have here in which we have seen the code written. Okay. So I will uh, provide you the code samples and I will let you know how you can download the code and check out. Okay. So going back to the startup class then you have to use the app dot use the auth authorization server and pass the options that we have created over here to here and this is just we need for implementing uh, open authentication 
now talking about the uh, how you will get the code is you can actually check our official website okay so you can go to go to net.com okay so here you will see many blogs and here if you will try to go down and on the right side you will see open authentication in asp.wc api you can click on that and it will open up the blog which is the same that i have just mentioned you okay so uh, you can click on this download attachment button and you will be able to download uh, this code okay so thanks for watching guys and if you have any issue then you can comment on the video so thanks for watching if you have any kind of issue then you can also uh, report us back that you have some issue uh, by messaging us at you can message us by adding to the comment section and uh, also uh, you can just mail us at uh, info at the red code tonight.com so thanks for watching guys so this is the email where you can message us at so we will check out the mail so thanks for watching and let us know if you get an issue